Okay, here we go. This is the first test of playing Drawception using my new webcam that I got. I used to use my laptop webcam, but it wasn't as good. So, And I thought it would be kind of nice so you guys can look at me while I'm doing this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I don't even know if I'm going to use it because I don't know if I want my face out there. But we're going to keep it for now for the test. Um, you should see over here is the window I play Drawception in usually. It's actually an Internet Explorer window. Um, that's the reason why I use the old canvas on the instead of the new canvas that Chrome has because I don't really install scripts on Internet Explorer. But for whatever reason, my tablet and Drawception work best in terms of drawing there. Um, I usually browse Drawception using Google Chrome. That's my usual browser. Over here I have my reference little window that I usually have ready. It's on Google Images. I've got a tiger there. And okay, I guess we're ready to try this out. Move some stuff out of the way. You can see my messy room behind me. So we're going to play a game and it is going to be about Meerkat Plays Bowling. Interesting. Well, Plays Bowling is an interesting description of the word. I don't know that I've heard it put like that before, but a Meerkat Bowling should be pretty easy. First instinct is, of course, Timon from Timon and Pumbaa of the Lion King because bowling for buzzards. So I think I'm going to do that quite literally. So let's look at what we get for Timon and see if there are any good poses, generic poses out there that I can work on. Because bowling is kind of an interesting That one I like for the pose, just to get a rough start of it. Move it down a little bit so you guys can see it here. And usually this is what I do for the first couple minutes, is I just look at references before I even start drawing. Okay, so... We're going to have it going on in his little desert home, so we need, let's get the pen. Basic background. Okay, get the desert going here. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. I use a little brush a lot in my backgrounds. A lot. Just because it's easy to mimic a lot of detail just through scribbles. You don't have to be exact with it. And I probably make all sorts of weird expressions while I'm doing this, by the way, just because that's how I draw and I don't usually have an audience when I'm drawing. So if I look weird, that is why. So Let's look at Timon's colors here. So we kind of just sketch out the body on top of that. Arm goes up. That's going to be the bowling ball hand. I'm going to get a different face. I have to say the Lion King is one of my favorite Disney movies because I was four when it came out, or five, four or five. So 
So whenever I see a prompt that can be construed as Lion King, I usually do it. And what does that other arm do when he's pulling it back like that? Is that just hanging down? That's kind of funny. Let's go out like that. Okay, we'll put it out like that. I have more experience drawing the lion characters. I haven't really done Timon, Pumbaa that much. Done a little bit more with Zazu, just because I like drawing birds. And Zazu is kind of a fun one to put together too. He's really well animated. Okay. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing for the face yet. Put the belly here. Okay. And stripes and we're down to about five minutes so I'm gonna keep an eye on that I think I'm just gonna wing the face at this point just because I don't really have the time to go looking for reference on the face so the bowling ball Now I need to practice shading orbs. I'm not doing a very good job of this, but anyway. Okay. There we go. Get another hand there. Foot. Foot. And usually I try to avoid outlining characters when I can because it takes a long time to do that. Non drawception. Every second counts. But here, um, I think I will have to do some outlining just because the background is so similar to his coloring. Okay. Hair a little bit spikier. I'm no good at hair. Usually just kind of doodle on it until it looks just about right. No. Like that. Uh, that's no good. Ear. And some outlines here. Oh, too thick. Timon is really, really thin. You don't realize he's that thin until you start drawing him. But seriously, his arms are like little teeny twigs or something. Okay. Oops. Down to about two and a half minutes. I haven't even really got the bowling down yet here. Okay, so now we need a bowling lane. No. No, I don't want to do that. So I want, yeah, I want it to be visible. So now we need a buzzard. I'm just going to wing the buzzard because I don't know exactly what the Lion King buzzards look like. But it should be fairly obvious, this buzzard. Or a vulture, anyway. 
Uh, you know, it can't be exactly less than a minute here. Okay. Oops, it's not quite what I wanted. Any bowling ticks. It's not going to be a gutter ball, looks like. Okay, shadow. And now I need to think about putting a Batman in here somewhere. I didn't leave myself a lot of space for one this time, but I think I will just add one here in the foreground just because my options are not spectacular. See, if I find a, something that looks vaguely like a Batman face, I will usually enhance that. You can kind of see one here in the sand. And it doesn't have to really look that much like Batman either. I mean, it's just supposed to be vaguely like a symbol that vaguely looks like Batman. Also, if you get too deep into it, it's going to be really obvious who it is hiding in the dirt there. So you don't want to do that. Add some more camouflage. And, you know. Now let's see if this submits. Yes. All right. I guess that sort of looks like a buzzard. I mean, we'll see. But I think you can tell that he's bowling, which is the important part. And you can tell that it's a meerkat because it's Timon. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And that'll be my test of this recording system. And maybe you'll see this and maybe you won't. Um, probably not because my room is a mess and I don't want anyone to see that. But overall, I'm very pleased. And I think the Batman turned out okay. I could have used a little bit more time on the right hand side of him. I think because it kind of disintegrates into the sand. But the face is the most important part. And I think you can tell if you're looking for a Batman that he's there. And it, I don't think if you weren't looking for a Batman, you would notice him. Just casual glance at the picture, which is one of my rules. I don't know how many rules there are for subliminal Batman. But there he is. And we should actually see what point this drawing is at. So I'm going to get to look at my profile here. There I am. I still have my beach cover at the top. I need to change that, but I've been waiting until I got more drawings, new drawings to pull that up. So it's 10 panels in for that one. Which I think is... I like the later positions because I don't have to wait as much for them. But I also like the earlier positions too because they're closer to the original prompt. And I believe that is it for this session of Drawception. I'm just going to do one panel for this test run to see how my uh, camera and my audio works. And it'll be about 14 minutes, 13, 14 minutes. So thanks for watching.